Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, in the time-honored tradition of cluttered workbenches, I have the typical uh, cluttered workbench, state-of-the-art, free energy equipment. So uh, what we've got here is the uh, ground loop uh, designed go-to look implemented H-bridge and uh, here I'm actually this is the uh, logic power supply input and this is the main bridge power input and this is the bridge power output this is the drive clock drive from the signal generator and there's the frequency counter showing the frequency of the frequency counter and there is the scope trace showing the clock input to the H bridge. I'm powering both the logic and the uh, bridge power from a single 11.4 volt LiPo battery through this red lead here, okay? And then on the output side I'm going through a 5 ohm 50 watt load resistor and then into the uh, Tesla Bifiler Pancake primary coil that I've talked about before. Okay, so that's and then that's the that's the primary circuit that I'm pulsing with the H bridge, and then the secondary circuit is this uh, old uh, Bifiler Tesla secondary coil that I had lying around, uh, and I've got uh, I just just uh, have both ends each end of this coil hooked up to a put some light on there a diode and a capacitor just all in series I'm not using a bleeder resistor because I'm confident I'm not going to shock myself and then I'm monitoring the voltage on this capacitor this is only uh, a thousand micro or rather a hundred microfarads it's the biggest cap I had lying around 100 microfarads, then I'm monitoring the voltage on this cap with the Simpson voltmeter. Okay, so I don't know if I can uh, get everything in the picture. Things happen pretty fast. I've got the Simpson on the 60 volt DC scale, so here we go. I'm unshorting this capacitor and uh, hooking up the capacitor to the Simpson. So the Simpson is monitoring the voltage on this capacitor which is only hooked up through the diode to the secondary of the Tesla power system. <clears throat> okay, now uh, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enable the H-bridge by flipping this little switch right here and uh, Let's see. Okay, ready? Here we go. <clears throat> Oops, wait a minute. Maybe I should plug in the power first down here. Okay, so now I got power to the H bridge and through the system. Simpsons monitoring. Here we go. What, what was that? One, two, three seconds. So in three seconds we've reached. Uh, 20 volts. 20 volts on that capacitor. It's 18 volts now. So 18 volts on that capacitor. And uh, I don't have enough meters right now, but I did this test before, and there's no increase in the current drain that I can see from the battery uh, during that charging up process there, where we've left, uh, uh, well, now it's down to 15 volts because we're le leaking a little bit, but uh, anyway, so this basically replicates GoToLux uh, results as far as I can tell. Thanks for watching.